years ago when I was in Beijing having dinner with a friend of mine and, uh, and uh, when we were discussing catching up on what people were doing, uh, so he opened his laptop and showed me, he said, this is all the ambulances uh, currently driving around in Beijing and some of those are uh, ECG pictures of the patients being transported. They were already doing this uh, in uh, uh, so I, I saw this picture, it's really interesting because this is one of his grant proposals. They're they are actually doing this. So everybody is gearing uh, towards the Internet of Things and so on. And indeed, healthcare is a big theme, it's a main theme in uh, one of the main themes in uh, NanoTerra. And uh, therefore, uh, medical uh, applications are very much uh, on uh, people's mind today and modern healthcare really envisions very sophisticated heterogeneous systems. So the uh, project of uh, Placitus is really to build a platform that should be underlying many many of the applications we, we have envisioned and we can envision and uh, that really revolves for medical application which is a good starting point for the Internet of Things and so on, really revolves uh, data acquisition, uh, DSP and control, energy harvesting and supply regulation, short range wireless for body area and local area network, as well as broad range wireless, getting that information over the uh, wireless telephone and the wireless uh, uh, cellular connection to wherever in the world you want it to be. The project actually consists of uh, three main Swiss institutions that specialize in uh, integrated circuits, uh, ETH, uh, EPFL, as well as uh, CSEM. So the general idea is to build a platform that can be used uh, and focus on technologies that can be used later for everything that you, can, you may envision. General idea, we need uh, uh, to have body, uh, wireless body area networks, uh, uh, for uh, data storage, sensing, processing, storage, and communication. And uh, they can be battery powered if uh, you have the space and uh, facility, or remote powered. Certainly, uh, sending a robot down the uh, stomach uh, proposes challenges how you get a power source if it doesn't come from the stomach itself. Um, and uh, when you do get some power, you, you, mustn't, uh, you must uh, use them sparingly, so uh, they must be ultra low power and made miniaturized. So the combination of all those system on chip, radio frequency, uh, MEMS technology in the package and so on, uh, to have that size very, very small are uh, some of the uh, uh, targets we have. A, a more detailed example of how we envisage the wireless uh, body area network to work, and that really uh, involves getting either battery or some harvesting uh, wireless transmission of power and have that regulated in such a way that can be used by your electronics and have your processors, sensor interface circuit, ATD converters and so on collect the uh, medical information and have it stored and have it transmitted one way or the other uh, to the outside world. So, the project focuses on three aspects, interface electronics, and uh, some of the work we have already done uh, in the past, and that's uh, uh, implanted uh, microsystems that involve uh, actuators and uh, sensors, uh, wireless powering of the device, power management in there, as well as uh, the data acquisition system, as well as actually transmitting the stuff by refraction index through the same wireless link back to the uh, base. Oops. Some of the chips we have made, and the focus here is really low power. I would just point to two numbers here. The total power consumption of that chip is half a milliwatt, of which half is uh, consumed by the uh, uh, power management and collection uh, circuitry, whereas the other half is for the uh, uh, data acquisition. So what we are currently doing at EPFL is really to build sensors and uh, data acquisition system that can be applied to an array of different applications and uh, different uh, uh, schemes. Uh, powering certainly is, uh, is being studied very intensively and either uh, you have situations where the power source 
as well as the, uh, the <coughs> element is close or when they are far away. And this is being studied and optimized because the toxic situation is very, very tricky and the collection coil generally is very, very small. Internet Things is really going to build on a synergy of all three major uh, fields uh, that we've witnessed in the last decade or two. And uh, we would like to uh, build a circuit platform uh, like a lot of uh, advanced uh, centers in the world uh, that will address uh, medical electronics. Uh, the consortium aims, aims to create low power and high, highly integrated solutions, putting those uh, distinct chips into the same, and data acquisition, remote sensing, short range radio, and uh, wide area <laughs> network modules among our focuses. We have achieved uh, very promising early results uh, but much is uh, still to be done. The project started roughly a year ago, and I'll come back and report more next year. Thank you for your attention. How much of the power consumption of the system is given by the efficiency of the protocol stack, and how much by the chip? Oh, the chip is, uh, uh, is still very, very substantial today. Uh, the chip consumes uh, a wireless uh, front-end consumes in the order of half a watt to a watt, and there's a lot of room to improve. The product stack generally uh, sits on microprocessors and microcontrollers that are 40 nanometer or below, so the power consumption there is, is manageable.